In this review, we give a brief outline of our book Mediastic Git Training for Stroke Patients as an important field emerging in rehabilitation. Technological innovations are allowing rehabilitation to move towards more integrated processes with improved efficiency and less long-term impairments. In particular, robot mediated new rehabilitation is a rapidly advancing field which uses a robotic system to define new methods for treating neurological injuries, especially stroke. The use of robots in get training can enhance rehabilitation, but needs to be used according to well-defined neuroscientific principles. A complete review of all machines developed worldwide is very difficult to realize, also because of the number of prototypes tested within the scientific community. These devices can be classified according to the motion they apply to the patient's body. For instance, exoskeletons move joints such as hip, knee, ankle, controlled during the gait phases, whereas end effector robots move only the feet, often places on a support that imposes specific trajectories simulating the stance and swing phases during gait training. Another possible classification is between devices in which the patient is moved in place and those moving the patient around the environment. We could define these devices as static and dynamic ones, respectively. A common feature of gait training robots is the possibility to support, partially or totally, the body weight and the movement of patients. A recent review, inspired by Isaac Asimov's famous three laws of robotics, and based on the most recent studies in neurorobotics, uh, proposed three similar laws valid for new reputation robots. These laws were driven by the ethical need for safe and effective robots, by the redefinition of their role as therapy helpers, and by the need for clear and transparent human machine interfaces. Most studies on walking near reputation robots focus on their effectiveness, giving controversial results. It's important to understand how different robotic approaches will respond to different reputation problems in patients. Most studies aim at answering the question, are robotic devices effective for all kinds of post-stroke patients? We have highlighted the need for changing this question into, for whom are robotic devices the most effective? The goal should not be an efficacy for all, that means testing the efficacy of a device for all patients, but all for efficacy, that means to dispose of all the technological possibilities for improving efficacy. A key point for the diffusion and correct use of new technology is to know for which patient and which reputation phase each type of technology is more beneficial. Patients with more severe motor legs impairments are those who benefit the most from robotic assisted therapy using the machine with high level of constraints in combination with conventional therapy.